Jesus wept. John 11 verse 35. Jesus wept. John 11 verse 35. Jesus wept. John 11 verse 35. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Let's continue with our today's devotion. Jesus wept is the shortest verse in the Bible. I picture his weeping different than those mourning the death of Lazarus. I picture him bursting into tears, a sudden outburst of emotions from deep pain within the heart. On two occasions in the Bible, Jesus weeps. The other is found in Luke 19 verse 41. When Jesus burst into tears, an audible sobbing in another sudden outburst of deep emotion from the heart, as he wept up over the city of Jerusalem, a city whose leaders and people have and will continue to reject him and his words of salvation. On both occasions, Jesus weeps over the death he anticipates the death of his beloved city that will come in AD 70 at the hands of Roman Empire. Titus and his soldiers prophesied in Micah. Therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble. Micah 3 verse 12. Here in John 11, Jesus is weeping over the grave of Lazarus, knowing that God's creation was never meant to suffer the pain and the sting of death. Death was not meant to be part of life, but the fall of man brought it to this world and all in it. I recall years ago when I arrived in on East Coast from California, having answered the call to plant a new church as I was driving to work one day, watching the faces of the drivers in the cars going by the other way, I was overwhelmed with a despair and sorrow for how many of them need Jesus in their life. I burst out crying in my car knowing that many will die in their sin rather than in the grace of God. The good news is that although we see so much death in this life, so much pain, and we are prone to sorrowful and tearful outbursts, our sorrow still has hope attached. It is the hope that comes with abiding in faith and God's love. Paul says, You sorrow, you sorrow not as others who know no hope. First Thessalonians 4 verse 13. This is the simple faith believers are to share to the world. There is hope in Jesus Christ. Death is not the end game to life for the professing Christian. There is no tragedy of death to Christ in Jesus. There is no tragedy of death to those in Christ. To go to heaven is to live forever in joy and peace. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55 to 56. Rather than invite us into the sorrow of death, Jesus invites us out of the grave. Turn from sin and rejection and come to Him. Come into the saving grace and knowledge of Him. And then He says, Go, go into the world and declare the good news of life in Christ. Go declare your life of hope and love, your death to sin, and the sorrow how you are now living in the new life of grace and peace. Jesus wept, but he rejoices in the life-giving power of the resurrection 
as with Lazarus, who became a living witness to this life-giving power of Christ, so too, beloved, are you to be witnesses of Christ's resurrection power over the death unto eternal life. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Stilwell. Next time, amen. And-